Hey, welcome back guys. This is the Hack Tips and today I will be making another tutorial video on how to make a hacking program for games using Visual Basic 2010 Express. Now first what you're gonna do is open up your Visual Basic, go to File, New Project, and hit the top option and choose OK. Okay, now you'll get this box. Now, I want to make a professional looking hacking program now. If I to do it to do that, uh, I need uh, to use a background. Now, to make a background, click picture box and drag it out into the form box, your project box. Now, click the arrow here, click choose image. Under project resource file, hit import and choose whatever image you're going to make. And for this case, I'm using this Arbo logo. I'll hit OK. And as for the size mode, uh, set it as a stretch image. Now you can stretch it wherever you want now stretch it uh, to f uh, so, you, so it will fit the box correctly take your time doing this so now the, this looks great <coughs> so um, um, click this out of the box call form 1 and rename it to um, whatever you want so I will in my case I will rename it, I rename it to go Generator Vision Trap. So we will change the um, whatever it is up there. Now you need um three label, um three label, three text box and two button. Now we'll drag the label out there. Label one, label two, label three. Now choose the label one and rename it to name and it's rather small so to fix that find uh outer size and hit false so you can stretch it whatever you want so it's right here and I want to change the font as well. Now go to font, find font, click this arrow and I want the size to be about 10 so it looks great already I'll do the same to all of the label uh, I'll pause this video for now ok guys we are back and as you can see I already changed all of this now the next step is to make the text box now Take text box and drag it into the box like so. Maybe a little down that and another one for <coughs> a password. Drag it up. Okay. And another one for your mouse. Else. Okay. Okay, that's kind of good. Uh, okay, now. Now you need the button. Choose hit button and drag it down here. Come on. And another button. Okay, for the first button, you need to name it for whatever you want. And in my case, I will need to generate and button two. I really need to. Um, excuse me, guys. Done. Now I need to change the font as well. So, so for this first one, uh, I will change the font to about twelve. And second, this is twelve. <coughs> Looks good, isn't it? Now, uh, uh, go to the blank, go to the text box under the password, and find uh, an option called password char. Now hit shift and hit number eight, so it will bring up the starting and hit enter. <coughs> so, what do this, this will do is when you enter your password, it will show up as a star. 
So now, time for the coding. The double click generate and then show up the coding. And up here, hit enter. Uh, up arrow and type in import system system dot net net dot net. Now under here you need to put the coding. I will put the link in the description where you can download it. And I will pause the video for now <coughs> and I will resume it when I have done. Okay guys we are back. Now I have done the coding and as you can see here you can download it from the, the from the link in the description and copy and paste and it will look like this. And down here you can see the my mail message and all of this good stuff. And here you will see your Gmail address. Now highlight it and delete and put your Gmail address here. So as for me it's Faris76 RS at G .com. And another one under it. Again, Faris76 RS at gmail.com. Now another one and this is the last one. And again, Faris76 RS at gmail.com. <coughs> Now you need to put your Gmail password over here. So go ahead and put that. <coughs> okay, now click here and hit enter and add and type in MSG message box um parentheses open and type in um your what everyone and in my case I will type in your goal okay comma st box information okay That's done. Go ahead, go back to your project, and now double click done, and just have it close. And this is closed. And this is open, and this is closed. Now, uh, when you're done, you, uh, you need to test it out. So go ahead, click, um, start debugging, and show an example. Put some random things. Just text it then delete it put your password now put whatever more you want it doesn't matter now hit generate when you hit generate um, it's supposedly to show up a uh, pop up like this your goal has been successfully generated. Please wait for 3 hours for transfer. Success. So now, to so just done. So when you're done, you will close. Now, <coughs> to check whether it's working or not, go to the given inbox and here we go. The username, random things, and the password. So yeah, it worked. So now to save it, go to file. <coughs> uh, <coughs> sorry, guys. <coughs> go to file and hit save all. Uh, type in your name. Enter. Um. Um. Uh, how will go later? And remember where you put in. And hit save. Now go ahead, really close the application. Or go to where you save it. For me, it's documents. Visual Studio 10. So, uh, project. 
hamburger generator hamburger generator bin debug and as you can see it, it is automatically saved as exe file so go ahead and rename it again uh, rename. So now let's test it again. Double click. See, it's working perfectly. This is great if you want to hack some of this account. Okay, uh, that's it. That's the end of my tutorial. Uh, thanks guys for watching my video. Uh, please wait, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Bye.